Hi, this is Eric, and I did a video a while ago about how to resize a Windows Virtual Machine on a Mac uh, running uh, VirtualBox. And um, the response has been very pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the comments. And so one comment says they're having a problem using the VBox Manage tool. And it's a terminal tool, so you have to know the terminal. And it looks like a common problem, so I'm doing this video to uh, resolve the error that they're getting. So here's the comment, and it looks like they're uh, using two parameters. One is show HD info, and the other one is show medium info. And they said, please help me, so I'm doing this uh, video. So I think the first thing we'll do is go to the command line, and we'll just check out the um, usage, usage statements and look into the terminal for these. So I'm going to go to the terminal. So here's my terminal. And I'm going to show you where I am right now. I'm at in the um, slash users and then my own personal directory here. Um, I can type out pwd for print working directory. Now I'm going to type in um, v box. And at this point, I could probably hit um, tab and have it autocomplete. Nope, I can't. How about the M? I'm going to hit tab and have it autocomplete. And after this, I'm going to type in um, show medium info. And I'm going to hit enter. And what this gives me is a usage statement. And so what I see, I see um, uh, four, four elements of this. First one is the name of the tool. Second is show medium info. So that, and then the third looks like an optional statement. And, um, and I think it's optional because it's in the square brackets. And notice that you have the lines the, between each one. So I think it means disk or DVD or floppy. And I've tested this out. And if I use disk on a disk, it works. If I use DVD or floppy on a VDI, you know, it doesn't work. So I'm thinking this just optional probably defaults to disk or it guesses what you're doing. And the final one in the um, angle brackets uh, is for the uh, UUID, which stands for Universally Unique Identifier, or the, the file name. And for file name, it also means path. So what the important thing is here here is each parameter, it has to be separated by a space. That means if you have something, if you have a file name with spaces in it, you need to do something to tell it that those spaces do not indicate a break in that um, file name. And so what we're going to do is uh, if I type in, um, I'm just going to type in the list the contents of my directory here. So I'm going to type in ls. And you'll see that down there we have virtual box space VMs. Now, it's kind of unfortunate that that is the default name um, because that little space means you have to handle that little space in a separate way. Otherwise, it'll treat it as like two separate things and not just one name. So as a quick refresher, let me just look at the VirtualBox machine just to know uh, what directory we should look in. So here's my VirtualBox, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, select one. And notice how I named my VirtualBox with like Ubuntu-64. And I tried not to put any space in there just because, you know, spaces in the terminal just make, make things more difficult because you have to handle spaces. So I'm going to click the Settings option. And if I go under general and advanced, it does give me the, um, you know, it tells starts telling me where the, the main folder for this thing is. Let me see if I could find the directory of my VDI. And I think, so here is, here is the location of my VDI. If I go to storage, if I select the VDI here, uh, unfortunately they don't let me make this dialog box any bigger, but if I mouse over here, I see it's under virtual box VMs, Ubuntu-64, and then the name of my VDI. So that's what I want. Uh, look at this. If I right click, it lets me copy this. So let's go ahead and copy it. And I'm gonna click OK to remove this. And I'm gonna go back to my terminal. So I'm back in my terminal, and I will now try to use that VBox tool with my path. Now, if I go VBox Manage, and I'm going to type my show medium info, and now I can Command C, or sorry, Command V to paste my path. 
Now the problem here is we have a we have the first we have the file name which is great followed by space. The space tells it that the next thing to do is the command to do. So it has the command and notice that there's no space. They didn't go like show space medium and info. And then we have a space and now we have the nice full so this is the root of the drive and it goes all the way over here to the end. And the one tricky part in here is um, this space. And so what is, what's actually happening, the reason that this bug is going to happen when I hit enter is because it takes this path and it starts reading the path and it thinks everything is good and right when it hits here it stops reading because there's a space and it thinks that that there's nothing else. This, as far as it's concerned this stuff back here doesn't even exist because it stops reading at the space. So I'm going to hit enter and we're going to see an error. And it says invalid parameter. And look what it says. It's like invalid parameter. Why? Because it says VMs open. So see how it looks like it looks at that as a fourth parameter. And notice how that this starts right after the space. But of course, we don't know. We we didn't mean that to be a fourth parameter. We wanted it to be part of the third parameter, which is the path. So here's how to solve that. I'm going to go <clears throat> and I'm going to hit the up arrow on the keyboard to get my last command back. And I'm going to just hit the left arrow to tick back to where our space is. Now in computers, especially file systems, spaces are a pain. And it's often good to avoid putting spaces in your, your file names. And that's exactly why I do Ubuntu-64 rather than Ubuntu space 64, because you'll have to handle those spaces. And here's two ways to do it. Number one, you can put a backslash in front of the space. And that backslash, spash, that backslash is a control character. And it basically says that space is not uh, a separator for a parameter. It is um, part of the file name. And so the whole that whole thing from users Eric Roscoe, to eRoscoe to the end will be treated as one parameter. And now if I hit enter, I will get in the data that I'm expecting. Very nice. So let's see. I did notice. Um, I did notice that if I go to um, show HD info, so I'm just going to go back. So HD info, I actually get the exact same information. So it seems to be the same. Um, now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to hit. I'm hitting the up arrow on my keyboard. So let's go back um, here. And let's say there's actually another solution instead of the backslash. And so I'm going to delete this backslash. And of course, we get an error. It says, what are you doing? There's only, you know, th three parameters. Um, and you're giving it four. So the solution there is to uh, put this whole thing in quotes, double quotes to be precise. Actually, single quotes might work. But let's see. If I put it in double quotes, it's going to treat everything in there is an atomic um, you know, string. So let's go ahead and hit enter and that also works. If you have a path with like tons of spaces, um, especially like multiple spaces in a row and it's just a pain to escape every single one, um, often a good thing to do is to use um, these quotes. And in fact, when I look at the bug, so here's the, here's the okay, we'll go back to the, the, the person's problem here's the um, person's URL. Now I notice that they're starting with a, this is a quick observation, they're starting with a tilde there and they, and they shouldn't. That that should not be there. Um, so don't don't type that. The tilde means start in the user's directory and this, this so don't, don't do that. And <clears throat> what you have here is you, you have the space there you need to escape, but because you have um, Windows space 7, space 64-bit, you would actually need a backslash here and a backslash here. And so let me just go through and show you how to actually escape that. And MacBook is your username there. So let me go back to the command line. So in your case, I would just use the double quote solution. So you had VirtualBox VMs. 
uh, up we need a let's get rid of this quote and we're going to go to the end so we have and then VMs and then we have the next part and then you had like windows now we have another space coming up so we got a backslash and then seven now we have to backsplash the backslash the escape the space after that 64 and that's a folder name that we have a forward slash for the next part of the URL and now I think we had windows again and now we have a space so we need a backslash the space and then we have seven and now we have another backslash space and then we have 64 and then I think we finally had VDI so clearly that's a that's a lot of backslashes and it's and it's painful so in this case I would say no backslashes put everything in double quotes Another option, in, in case you don't want to type the full path, is you could start anywhere on your computer, and if you can navigate into the folder with the VEDI, so for example, I'm going to change directly to, directory to the VirtualBox VMs, then Ubuntu 64, I'm hit enter. Now here is my, my um, folder, so my, the terminal is in the directory with the VDI, and now right here I could type VBox manage show medium info and then um, just type the name of the VDI and now I get hit enter and it'll give me the information so I don't have to do the whole um, path because really the path is just to tell it you know where it is and this way it'll it'll find it I'd like to thank you all for reaching the end of the video. I hope if it was useful to you. If it was, please uh, say so or say hi in the comments. If you have any more questions, you could also leave or video suggestions, you could leave them in the comments. Um, if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and um, you know even subscribe to the channel. I would be inspired to do more videos. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.